You're tired of one ply? This video is for you. Under the brick should be, uh-oh. Uh, uh, where is it? We recently made a change and I'm a little bit nervous about this. Ew. Oh my gosh, that's oh. disgusting. And then let's do the jar TP test with some of the unique digest it too and see what it does. Nothing's happening yet. Okay, so this morning, we're gonna dump the tanks. <laughs> we are, and we have no sewer hookup. We are not at a dump station, obviously. We're at the Glamper Hideaway, but we're gonna dump them anyway. And we're not going to dump them in the toilet again. <coughs> it is really stinky, honey. We're going to do something a little bit different, but here's the thing. This video is gonna be super important because if you ever find yourself in a scenario where maybe you went camping for the weekend without full hookups, boondocking, a dump station's just not very accessible. We've heard from a lot of you guys that sometimes people use their camper as like a guest house. Right. Brings the camper home, let some people stay in it for the weekend, but you gotta do something with the stinky tanks. We're gonna show how you too can dump your tanks at home. And I got a three quarter inch hose right there and it's a long hose we have a little bit of a distance to go so we're going to see if this hose is going to be long enough first and then two if the mattery is going to actually be able to pump through that three quarter inch hose all the way over to the clean out a macerator is basically one big pump that connects to a hose to the bayonet of the RV and it grinds all the poo and the toilet paper up and then it shoves it through that hose. Oh, oh, dude. Now, speaking of toilet paper, we recently made a change and I'm a little bit nervous about this. So this is kind of like an experiment. We're gonna see how this works, but also just a little later in the video, I'm gonna actually do a couple of tests, very scientific tests on using regular household toilet paper, but I'm excited because what I wanna also do and what I will do and what I'm gonna show you is using some of the unique camping and marine digest it then along with that toilet paper. We're gonna see how this works. We're gonna put it to the test. First things first though. Yeah, so we have gloves down in there and you're able to find them easily with our organization. Glove Thank for you. you, glove for me. Everybody gets a glove. <laughs> Love for me. This is the new pump, so this one will not overheat. And then we need to hook that up to the battery. You just clip those right onto oh. the positive and negative. So I'm gonna just have you go ahead and remove those sewer hoses and stuff. You know, just I need to keep my hands clean because I've I'm doing the camera work. So it's science. Very convenient. Okay. Do we want to? hook this up now or do we want to, to hook this up once that everything else is like hooked up hooked up i would just wait okay just so i'm just gonna set it over here yeah, just set it there next to the batteries yep. so that's and then ready to go plug in the igniter what's the igniter? handle this just reminds me of like a button you know you're actually like <laughs> don't hit the red button unleashing the now whatever you do don't push this button explosion i do like that the macerator explosion is in a nice little like carry yeah. case. You've got everything connected here. I like how this has just a little clip you just plug into and then then you activate it just by hitting the button. So it's very simple. Do we want to hook up the water to like do a black tank flush probably? We will eventually want to do the flush also. Yes, so let's get that connected up. I've got a separate gray hose that's specific for the black tank stuff. So I don't mix that up with the freshwater hose. So we'll use that. And we're using the rapid. Yep. To keep it in place. So that's nice. That. When I go to grab it, it's all Together. there. So we'll put that back on. When we go to put everything away. You can get those on Amazon. I'll, I'll put a little link down in the description for you guys on that. All right. And then you and got then your quick connectors on there too. We've got the quick connects on there too. So makes it really easy. Makes it super easy. So many RVs are set up so differently. So obviously we're going to show you what we need, but your RV could be set up different. With our particular setup, we need to have this clear elbow then because of the angle of the sewer pipe coming out to where we need to then hook up the macerator. This would obviously not fit onto that. The other thing too with clear, I know it might sound stupid but the thing is is that you just want to be able to see kind of like what's coming out of there uh, just to make sure that everything Ew. is coming out because if nothing's coming out you got a bigger problem so we're gonna get this 
This is the clean out. You put a regular clean hose to this and shoot water through there and it cleans it out. It flushes it. And then this is this, where the poo water is, is the, gonna come out? That's the poo shooter hose. Okay, where you just touched it with. Ew, water. gross, <laughs> Alaska. Oh, come on guys. The next thing we need to do is we need to make sure before we start this process that the hose that we have is long enough. So what we're gonna do in this particular instance is we actually- That's what she said. Oh, no, 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 not that. Just come on, you guys, let's do it. Stop. We actually have a septic at the Glamper Hideaway. Now, here's the other thing too. You can do this like if you just have a city sewer clean out in front of your house, double check with the municipality that you live in before you just go start dumping sewage. But that is perfectly acceptable. It's gonna go into the sewer anyway. So in our case though, let's make sure that the hose is long enough because it needs to start here. So we need one end over here. This hose, by the way, goes in our little shed in a separate spot of all of our other hoses. You don't want to accidentally mix up your poo hose with some other hose. Oh, dude, that is nasty. Wow. This is very in different way than I would have done it, but. <laughs> it got caught in the plant. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and okay. it's kinked. There. Okay. Uh -huh. All right, so. You definitely don't want any kinks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What? So we put the stick here. Yep. But where's the thing? So I put this little thing here to keep track of the clean out. Right here where the brick is. Under the brick should be. Uh oh. Where is it? One eternity later. Yes. Here it is. So now we want to just clean this up around the edge. And you want the whole edge cleaned up because. When you screw it back on, you don't want to be screwing on the dirt and sand. I think there's some sort of tool you're supposed to use. Yes, it's very specialized. Well, and no, it, it's like it, it's like fits over the block and then you... It's called a wrench. No, but if you have like, there's a special tool so that you don't damage the thing. Oh yeah, it's got two things, one on each side called a wrench, right? No, there's a special tool, I think, to take off the cap. Oh, hose clean out. Um, no, I think wrench. I can put it on because it's like a square thing and then I think... Square? I'm sure there is a specialized tool, but we're going to use our modified tool. This should do the trick. Here's your tool. <laughs> oh my gosh, come on. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, so do you know how to make this bigger? Make the tool bigger. There you go. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. It is going to the left. No. That's to the left. No. <laughs> is this your right hand or your left hand? For whatever reason, it just never connected with me. When she tells me directions, like go, <laughs> go right, she'll, she'll be pointing to the left. Probably we should just use like east, yeah. west, yeah. north, south. Passenger, drivers. Passenger side, driver side. There we go. All right. Ooh, oh my gosh, that's oh. disgusting. That is gross. Oh my gosh, that was gross. Mm -hmm. I don't ever need to see that again. I don't the think tubes we'll put is gonna. That in there, but I mean, I think you should be on yeah. this side. No, I think you should be over there, so I can. What if something goes wrong at the macerator? The chances of something going wrong are greater on which end? On the RV side. That's why I want to be over there. Okay, then I'll be on this end. All right. So this will fit. We're fine on that. Yep. Just stick it down in there. We don't even need anybody over here, but it's well, a good idea to have somebody over here. Yeah, I don't but think just that you should not. Put a brick on it for now. Have somebody over here. Yeah. Okay, we'll follow the hose back. So that is set up and ready to go. Okay, so connect the other end, the macerator. So this one goes, oh, you know what else too? Okay, this is super important, like seriously uber important. You wanna run a quick test to make sure all these connections are secure by like opening up some of your gray first. Yes. Because if you have any sort of any leaks or anything like that, you wanna figure that out with gray water. Yes. Not black water. So when we go to turn this on, we'll run the gray a little bit first to make sure it's all good before we run the black. Through. Yep. And right. at the end, we could flush out the macerator just before we put it away. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to hook this up and okay. then I think we're ready to rock and roll. Yep. And then after we're, we've done the duty here, because the other thing is, is that let's see how much TP is or isn't coming out. And then let's do the jar TP test with some of the unique 
digest it too and see what it does. Scientific. Scientific. Okay, so we want to now hook it up to the batteries, okay? Red to positive, black to negative. Red to red. Yep. I hate this always. I'm like, oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Black to black. <laughs> Stop it. Okay. 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 Then it's live, so that little uh, handle there is live. So you don't want to hit it unless you want to shoot poo. And we're not ready to shoot poo yet. We need to make sure the hose is in on the other side. And um, Okay. Okay. Well, we're going to test the gray first. Walking over to the side of the house where the septic is. And I'll let Ben know that I'm over here. Okay, I'm here. Okay, so are, are you ready? ready? Yep, we're ready to rock and roll here. Okay, I'm gonna open up Gray and let her rip. Okay. Scared. Okay, here she goes. It's live. Nothing's happening yet. There's not much enough water in there probably though to make it work so we'll see if it comes out oh okay yeah because there wasn't a lot in the gray and this is a really long hose all right i'm just gonna pull the black because it seems like everything's working ready as ready as i'm gonna be Ugh. Ugh. okay here she comes okay yeah it's coming okay everything's going okay so far yep everything's flowing okay so i'm just gonna stop it here now there's nothing coming out. Yeah, I stopped it for a moment just to make sure it was coming out okay. Oh, okay, yeah, no, it was coming out okay. But yes, now there's nothing. Starting it back up. Yeah, we got poo. We got a lot of poo coming out. I'm not gonna sit here and watch it too closely though. Just cause it's not like a pleasant task. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let it run, kind of, you know, clean out that hose a little bit. I'm not smelling anything. So that's good. Definitely also means that the tank treatments that we use from Unique Camping and Marine definitely are doing their job because I'm just feet away from this and not smelling a thing. I guess if you want to see how strong your marriage is, just do this together. You don't need marriage counseling, just, you know, do this. Did you see anything coming out that was like, it should have been coming out? It didn't really look that chunky. I mean, the unique marine, I think, really kind of broke up a lot of this stuff. It's just kind of brownish. Well, that's good. Hopefully, when we do this TP test later, we'll know for sure. Yeah, no, all the toilet paper is really looking broken up. Like, you see it pre-macerator. I'm seeing it post-macerator. Yeah, and it's really not looking so chunky. We actually use a lot of water when flushing, and we try to keep a lot of liquid in the black tank. That way it, it really doesn't build up. You don't get poo pyramids, all that stuff. You know, using a lot of water when you're, when you're not boondocking, obviously, but that's a whole different video. You know, the other good thing about using the Unique Camping and Marine is it's also septic safe. In fact, uh, Unique as a company actually makes some treatments and things like that just specifically for septics in general. And so that's part of the reason we use their products too. So if we have to dump at home like we are today, then we know that it's safe to go into our septic and that we're not putting any sort of chemicals or anything like that that could then um, cause an issue with the septic. This must have been pretty full because it's still going. Well, we do have a 50 gallon capacity on the black tank. Having a bigger tank capacity, definitely a plus. I think we're getting down towards the bottom. It's starting to get a little cloudy and browner. I'm really happy with this new macerator. Oh, here it is. So I just turned on the flush. So we should be getting some water in here. We might need to stop it just to let it build up a little bit because you don't really want to let the motor run dry if you can help it. But there we go. Now let's see if we can get enough water flow through here. Yeah, I can, I can see that we're, we're a little more on the brownie side here. Yeah, she's looking a little more clear over here 
I'm a poet and don't know it. Why? 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 Hey, as long as we know that whatever TP's in there was broken down and is coming out, that's again my big thing. Oh yeah, this is working great. And I've got my hand on the motor and it's not even hot. I mean, I think it's cooling it a little bit with all the liquids. Okay, hold on, we're clear. Yeah, no, I can see it's clear on on this end too. It's definitely just clear water, so. Okay, so now I'm going to close it up and then just let it build up a little bit and then we'll dump it one more time. Sometimes people ask, like, when do I know when I'm done dumping and flushing? What you should really do is just, you know, close the black tank, fill it up a little bit, dump it, let it come out, and that's gonna be pretty black, brown. Close up the black tank again, let it fill up a little bit, maybe a quarter of the way, dump it again, and then eventually you'll see it's pretty clear. There's no chunks or anything coming out. Do love all those chunks of beef. Yeah. That's when you know you're good to go. There's still, I'm still seeing some teepee. A little bit of teepee. I mean, the good thing is, is I see that it's broken down into pieces. So the teepee definitely appears like it's broken down here. So that's good. I still want to do the jar test and just see for myself though too. I had like a moment of panic where I couldn't remember if I had put the hose back in the thing or not, because I thought we were maybe done. So I'm just double checking. Whew. That would have been really, really bad. So the next thing we want to do is now take the flush hose and we want to hook it up to the macerator. And then we want to flush out this, uh, this macerator and the hose. That way we can just, you know, wrap it up. We know it's clean. We know when we lift it up, and start wrapping it up, we're not gonna have different colors stuff coming out the other end. <laughs> it's on. So it starts uh, going it by yeah, itself, but leave. yeah. So now we wanna turn this on, let it uh, clean out. That's good. And then we'll shut this off and then it'll push the rest of the water through the hose. That's when you turn it off right away because otherwise it'll start heating up the pump. So I have my jars of water. Now this toilet paper that we have been using now because I was so sick of using the RV specific one ply toilet paper that I swear you had to use twice the amount anyway, right? So this is just toilet paper from Sam's Club. It's very nice and it is not your typical one ply. So we are going to put one in the jar by itself and we're going to put one in this jar. But with this, we're going to add some of the unique RV Digest It. Now this is the tank treatment that we use. It comes in liquid format. It also comes in drop in pods. We will use both equally. It just depends. But for this experiment, the liquid form is going to be better. So I'm going to add some of the digest it on this one and no digest it on this one. What we're going to do is we're going to see, does this really help it break down more versus just water? Okay. So that's going to be the experiment. A few moments later. Now let's let it settle. Cause this definitely broke down. Like this definitely dissolved in just the water. Yeah, like you could see actually a lot of clear water. Yeah. So the digest it. And I bet if you give it a little more time to work, it's magic, it'll Digested even... it. Well, let's do this. We still have to put away the stuff. Mm -hmm. So let's go put away the stuff and we'll come back and we'll, and we'll see. see. What happens. Unhooking everything, first things first. I'm paranoid that we're gonna accidentally hit the button and start the macerator when we don't want it running. So I'm gonna unhook the electrical. Ah, so that is undone and then we already disconnected the black tank flush hose but let's wrap that up and put that away next that is one thing i do like about the zero g hose too though is that um it's just really easy to work with it's not inflexible like some of the other hoses and then we have got our handy dandy rapids. Loving these. This 
put away. Okay. Now, last, I'm gonna let you deal with the macerator. First things first, gloves. Stacy from You Mean the RV schooled me once about not wearing gloves on certain things. I guess you have little cracks in your hands and fingers that bacteria can get in. So what we'll do here is uh, undo the hose from the macerator. Now the thing is you wanna use gravity here because there could still be some stuff in here you never know. So you don't want to be, you know, holding it up to your face. I or thought you were going to blow in it. You know, blow it out. That sure didn't work. Ugh, that stinks actually. Whew. Um, so we're going to go ahead and lift this up and then roll it up. As you start lifting it, you can actually throw this part down and then you just want to kind of follow it like this. Neighbors are probably wondering what the heck we're doing. So no. this is not something that we carry with us in the RV unless we know we're gonna be in a situation where we would need it. It's the same thing you do with your sewer hose, kind of. You, and then you just kind of wiggle it, and we're empty. Okay. It's righty tidy lefty Lucy. So, yeah, it's righty tidy lefty Lucy. So that's gonna be going to the right, not the left. <laughs> so. I still think clockwise, counterclockwise. Somebody let us know. Yeah. Is it counter, like which one is it? Cause that might be easier for me. A little bit residual in there, but not too bad. And we'll take this off. Little elbow. Don't forget to put the cap back on. Yeah, that would be bad, bad, bad. And then make sure you, these are both closed, of course, but now let's put this macerator away. This goes in here. Nice little case. Put the electrical back in. Several ways you can do this. You can put it on your elbow or just Make nice little circles and another circle. It's <laughs> a friendly little circle. I feel like circle. you should tell us a story while you yeah. do this or something. So there was one, upon one a time. time. Dump the tanks, <laughs> Charity's sister's house, and it didn't go so well. Shut off the macerator. Oh, crap. <laughs> Literally. We had an old sewer hose. An old That's macerator. Old macerator, the old, old kind that uh, had an actual sewer hose built into it that was cracking and brittle. And uh, we went to dump. And let me just tell you, when there's pressure, poo, and uh, you know, crumbly sewer hose, it does not end up very well. But let me just tell you, they lived in an area with a pasture for the horses. That spot in the grass is probably very fertile right now. It's probably this high. It's only been like 20 minutes putting away the other stuff. These pieces are definitely like smaller. So now we have a nice rolled up cord. Oh, I just, I just love me a nice rolled. I could probably put one of those rapids on here too. But oh, actually you could. This goes up there. Now we Let's got see it. see if she'll close up. Oh yeah. All right, folks. Consider it done. For, well. For... It's such a struggle. I just realized that I had my radio volume probably way too loud. This is a very interesting way of doing this. <laughs> what? Are you, did you bump your head? No. Working with other people that don't know how to do video. Dude, when, when this we're... is my right hand. This is my left hand. All right. I didn't get enough sleep last night. The struggle's real, y'all. Yes, but that goes to the left. This is left. This is right. So if I was standing on the other side. Just, just take it off. <laughs> All right, folks. We did the dirty.